Hi everybody. So uh, we often talk about buy and hold chickens as the best value that you can you can get there, but a lot of folks push back and say, look, I, I don't know what to do with a whole chicken or it's just too much meat for me uh, at one time. So what I'm gonna show you here today is, is how to break a chicken down into its component parts, the legs, the thighs, the breast, the wings, uh, and, and really get a good value that way. So uh, let's go do that now. So the chicken uh, that I like to work with when I'm breaking it down uh, it is still a little bit frozen. And what that allows me to do is uh, it, it's, it, it's easier to separate the parts that way. Um, the, the joints come apart very easy that way. But you could certainly do this with a completely frozen, uh, or sorry, completely thawed uh, chicken. This one here has been in the refrigerator for about 48 hours. So the outside is, uh, is, is kind of tender, but down inside it's uh, still a little bit uh, frozen, some ice crystals. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, legs and thighs, um, separating those. Uh, right now I have the back uh, down, the breast up. Uh, and so the first thing to do is, is to cut the skin between the leg and the, and the breast and pull that open. As you can see, the, the uh, thigh bone popped away from the hip socket real easy. So you're just going to take your knife and you're going to stick it in that section and you're going to cut that off. So here we have a leg quarter, thigh and leg. We'll do the other side, same way. Pull that open, cut the skin, and just twist the parts of uh, uh, in different directions. Take your knife and cut the skin on the back side. So here we have another leg quarter. So to separate the leg quarter from the leg itself, I'm sorry, the thigh from the leg itself, you can see this uh, section of uh, ring of fat right there and the different muscle groups. So here it is on this one. That's exactly where you want to run your knife to take the leg and separate it from the thigh. So again, we're just going to flex that joint, take the, leg, uh, the knife, and push it right down there. And here you have it. Nice clean cuts, leg and thigh. We'll do the other one. Again, just flex that open a little bit. Take your knife and just run it through there. So now we have a pair of drumsticks and a pair of thighs. All right, let's move on to the wings. So with the wings, I turn it over with the back side up, breast down. Again, flex that joint open a little bit and you're just gonna make a small cut and then you're gonna pop the joint and then you're gonna finish the cut. Okay, one wing. And doing the other one, again, just remove some of that skin, pop the joint, and remove the other wing. Now we have a nice pair of wings. Now the breast, to work the breast, it's easiest to remove the skin. You could leave the skin on, but it's, it's kind of difficult to see where the seams are at. So I'm going to take the skin off. And again, it's a little bit easier to work on uh, the breasts when they're a little bit more thought out than this. So we'll make that happen. So here, here, here's, the, uh, here's the chicken breast. And you can see the seam where the two breasts are and this is where the sternum is on the chicken. So we're just gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut down that seam all the way to the rib cage. Stick your thumbs in there and kind of spread that open. So I don't know if you can see that, but down underneath you can see that there's a, uh, a, a section of a, a bone there, and so I just cut the one side of it. So now I'm going to take my knife, I'm just going to set it down there, it's, it's re resting right on the rib cage, and I'm just going to kind of twist it along the rib cage. And up towards the top is the wishbone. We're gonna cut along that wishbone and then separate that meat out. And finish it off. I got a little bit of cartilage there. We're just gonna clean that up. And again, it's real easy when the meat is still, has ice crystals in it. All right, there's the chicken breast. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
Here you can see better that uh, sternum. So we're just going to come right on the other side of it. We're going to cut down until we reach the rib cage. We're going to twist our knife and we're going to follow that rib cage down right along the uh, wishbone. Then spread it open and make your finishing cut. And another breast. So here we have two chicken breasts. And what remains is what we call the chicken frame. Lots of good meat on here, particularly the back, uh, the skin, uh, lots and lots of meat still. So what we like to do with this is put this in a pressure cooker or a crock pot and make soup out of it. So we'll show you that next.